Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is your first time viewing one of my videos. My name is Elle Morgan and I do fashion videos. I do lookbooks, DIYs, hacks. I do vlogs and other fun videos like that. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and click that notification bell so you know when I upload a new video because you want to stay informed, stay tuned on what's going on over here because I'm your best friend in your head. Yes, I am. So for today's video, I wanted to do um, just tips on how to start out in retail. One of my videos that I posted almost two years ago is still getting a lot of love over there. I get a lot of questions regarding retail and one of them was, uh, bleh, one of them was um, just tips on how to start out in retail. And so I wanted to make an entire video for that for those who are stout for those who are starting out in retail like if it's your first job or if it's just your first retail job in general i just wanted to make this video to help you guys out so you have a good start so yeah let's get into the video first tip with starting out in retail is to make sure you have comfortable shoes especially if this is your first job you have to get used to being on your feet a certain length of time like if you're part-time you're probably going to work maybe three to four hours for a shift but if you're full-time you're going to be working about an eight hour shift and you really want to have some support on your feet because let me tell you honey like that is no joke like when i first started out like my feet were killing me like i already have feet problems anyway i'm flat foot i don't have an arch but that's a whole nother story so i always have to have some sort of support but what worked best for me is like the dr shows insults i think insults lord have mercy inserts <laughs> dr show inserts they're about um, $8 at Walmart and they have like the arch and stuff in it. That helped me a whole lot with support. Um, I don't suggest wearing heels. I guess it depends on how long you're gonna be working. If that's your season, I used to try to wear heels when I was working in a department store, but I would be out of those things before lunchtime. Like that's just not, that's just not for me. But if that's for you, do you girl? But definitely comfortable shoes is a must. Second tip is to make sure you eat a good meal before you start work. I included this in my other retail video that I'll link down below, but that really makes a difference in your mood, in your productivity. Pro yeah, I said it right. <laughs> your productivity and stuff, because if you're hungry, all you're thinking about is what you're gonna eat, and you're not gonna be able to focus on your training or fo focus on customers or whatever tasks that you might have to do that day. So making sure you're eating a good meal before you get to work is really gonna help you it's really gonna help you be successful in your um you know at your job i'm so guilty of this that's why i'm telling you guys do not spend your entire check at the store like i know it is tempting because you get that discount and it's on sale and all of that you know it just Seems like it's a good idea at the time. No, do not do it. Only get the stuff that like you actually love and are actually gonna wear. Don't just be buying stuff because it's on sale and you get a discount. I did that and I spent hundreds of dollars on stuff that I did not even wear, that I sold to Play-Doh's Closet. And y'all know how Play-Doh's Closet is. They don't be one that hardly give you anything for the stuff that you have, that like is really good stuff. And they buy all this other crap that's in there that doesn't even look good. Let me, you know, I can go on a whole rant about Play-Doh's Closet. But I'm just saying like, no. Like, that's like one of the biggest like mistakes that I made, I feel like I could have had or saved so much money had I not done that. And I'm telling you, I've spent some money, okay? Some money, because I worked at a department store and so it was like higher end stuff, but it was like really, really good prices. So I was getting my money's worth, but at the same time, I didn't wear that stuff for real, or I only wore it once, or I didn't wear it at all, like I said. So that's money that could have been in a savings account, could have paid off a bill, just, yeah. So really, like, pace yourself when you get paid and you got your discount and you're trying to, like, just make it rain in the store. Don't do it. To go into retail with a plan. So what I mean by that is if you're starting off in retail, like this is your first job, then, you know, go into it like, okay, it's my first job. I'm going to save my money 
to go to school or I'm saving my money towards my business or even if it's not your first job and it's just a job because you need something, you know, something to bring money in. Like, go into it with a plan. Like, do you want to move up in this company? Do you like this company? Like I said, do you want to go back to school? Do you want to start a business? Like, go into it with the mindset of that because retail, it should just be a means to an end. Like, it shouldn't be like just a lifelong job unless you're trying to be in management or something like that. So it ain't no shade for people that just like working in retail, that's cool. But like for those who are just starting out, like it's so easy to get stuck and sucked in that you you wake up and five years pass by. Make sure like you going in there, um, like what well, like I said with the game plan, like what am I gonna do? What, you know, what is the goal? Like, okay, I'm working this job. I'm working this job to save money for a business. I'm working this job to save up money to go to school or I'm in school and I'm using this while, until I graduate, you know what I mean? So just go into it with a game plan. And lastly, make the most out of the experience. I found that I working in retail, working that specific job that I, I working that specific job that I've referenced a lot in my videos that I worked at um, for five years, I learned so much and I went through so much like personally that I feel like I grew as a person. Like I learned how to deal with different people in different situations to where like I can work, I can pretty much work anywhere. I honestly feel like that because of the things that I've gone through and experienced at that job and other retail jobs that I've had in the past, like it really, builds like I don't know how to word it but it just like really builds like I don't know real character I guess you could say but it really just prepared me to I can pretty much like I feel like I can go in business for myself like I know how customer service works I know how to service customers I know how to promote I know how to upsell like I know how to do that you know I know how to be aggressive when I need to be aggressive and I know how to back off I learned all of that from working in retail. And not only that, just um, me as a person, learning that I do have self-restraint more than I thought I did. <laughs> Cause you will be facing situations where you wanna like pop off, but you can't because you know you need your job. So I learned that about myself. Like, okay, I have a whole lot of self-restraint that I didn't know I had, you know what I mean? And, um, and then also, you know, you can meet some really great people. Like I didn't go into retail like, oh, I'm about to make all these friends, but I did come out with people that I genuinely call my friend out of working in retail. Like I formed some really good genuine relationships and not only with the people that I'm friends with today, but like some of my customers that I've had that like used to shop with me, like I grew bonds with those people. And when I do see them, like, it's just like family. It's just like, oh, it's just like so exciting. Like, I really do miss my customers sometimes. Like, if I could go back to that job and just strictly work with my customers, like part-time, I would totally do that if that was a thing, but it's, it's not a thing. I checked, it's not. But <laughs> if I could do that, I would, because I really loved my customers and I loved helping them and stuff. And that just like one of the great things that came out of that experience. Because when you hear about retail, you always hear about a lot of like negative stuff. And I am gonna make a video about positive things about retail because there, there are some positives in it. It's not all bad. But that's like one of the biggest takeaways that I have from there is like those relationships and those experiences that I had working there. So I say make the most out of the experience. Like it's not going to be long term if you don't make it that way. Like I said, if you go in with a plan, it's not going to be like Long term, you're not gonna be there forever. So like I said, just make the most out of that experience and try to learn everything you can learn, especially about the job, because that's gonna make you better and more appealing when you go apply for other jobs. Cause it's like, you have all that experience, you know how to, to move in certain, certain situations and stuff like that. And that's going to be great too when you are applying for different things. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video, enjoyed this little retail advice. I will be doing more videos like this. So I know a lot of people can relate to it because pretty much everybody's worked in retail once upon a time in their life, right? But, um, but yeah, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel. 
hit the notification bell. I almost forgot I was about to say. <laughs> hit the notification bell. Check the description box down below for all my social media networks. And make sure you check out that other retail video. I will link that down below as well. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.